You heard what the lady said. Sabine went parlé to a passé ça. She said, I didn't listen to Miss Sonia. I went and I fell. Sabine speak a whole lot of English. <laughs> right? On day. Y'all, please passé ça. Please. What is gout? Gout is a disease where the patient has a whole lot of uric acid in the blood. So the patient has this, all this uric acid, 868. Where does the uric acid come from? Eating expensive food. Liver, scallop, shrimp, Caviar, all right, lobster. That's how you get the increased uric acid. Now, class, what drug you get to remove the uric acid? Aloperinol. C'est consamblo étudié. When you study in med surge, please do disease and drugs together. I have to teach it separately, but you do it together. You got it? So, gout, tons of uric acid in the blood. Because the uric, the kidney cannot filter, right? The uric acid go and it plant in the joint, and the number one place you see the gout is in the big toe. Not only you see the big toe big, but we got the sin. We know who go bulla. Say we sin say noir. I'm gonna say it in English. Leo get gout. He blanc. Yo ele tofi. T o p h i. Tofi. On baga he blanc. He kaye sune. Right? O sla o suzore. Tofi is number two in data collection. Heart irregular shape nodule. Low grade fever. Gratel varitis. Sometimes you have gout, they do dialysis. Why? Who at risk to get gout? They say a lot of Italians. Okay, chef. Now, nursing intervention D. This is what Sabine was talking about this morning. Got the diamond there. D. Guys, on Creole, say something you may want to do. Passion gave out key nursing intervention. English. This is what the people are going to ask you. 
The patient got gout. What's your nurse's intervention? You see the diamond next to it? What Rihanna said, shine bright like a diamond. The diamond is there for you to study. Shakti diamond now live life, Wapi. Right? This is what the girl was talking about this morning. She said, I went and read that book. I read all the diamonds. Right? So let's go. The diamond. <coughs> Provide a low purine diet. Now, Inclex not going to give it to you like that. It's going to say, the patient has gout. Which food would you question? That means which food the patient cannot what? Have. Let's go. Organ meat, wine, eggs, cheese. High fluid. Why high fluid? To remove the urine. To remove the urine acid from the, the body. Right? So that means when you have gout, tell me what lab you're going to check. Uric acid. What about BUN and Creac? Yes. You're going to give, um, encourage weight reduction. Instruct the client no alcohol. Alcohol make your gout have a tax. No alcohol, no caffeine. No nicotine. Right? Increase urinary pH by eating alkaline ash food. Milk and cheese, yes. Provide bed rest. Monitor range of motion. Position the joint. Protect the affected joint. Provide heat or cold. Administer medication. Which medication for the pain? Be careful, you in multi-skeletal. Which medication you will give for gout? For the pain? Inflammatory. Soma. Lear seal. And then you will give allopurinol. Soma kukisa. Who do let for the pain, allopurinol, to remove what? Mm. So listen, if I ask you a diet about gout, be careful. Is the question, okay, I ask you, the patient is on gout. Which food can the patient eat? You at Inclex. What are you, how are you going to bring me with you without talking? You're going to say, Fundamental nutrition. What's the question about gout? It was which what? Which food? You got that? Be careful. Be careful. Comprend. The patient had gout. How are you going to position the arm? Where did I teach you that? <coughs> ah, be careful. Be careful. You elevating it to prevent what? Edema. The edema. Because you said gout, la sous de med surge gout. The question about positioning. The patient is have gout. Which medication? Now you're gonna say med surge Maltese. Ça se comprend. And this is your problem. And let me tell you something. You see that? That's the most honest thing you said. Soon as the student tell me that, I guarantee you a lot. You see, once she told me that, that means now, you know what you just said to me? I got you now. You going to kill me because now you understand. Anytime a student did not recognize that, you ain't ready. This is what I see and I shake your hands. I say, truth of me, I guarantee you like that. Because she recognized, oh, Simba, I cannot answer the word. The question? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and this is what I see, and I, I make I look at you, I make a decision. And some take tests. So when you think, I say never, <laughs> because you have not recognized. I just yeah, saw the yeah. light bulb. You just went. When I saw that, girl, I guarantee you, I give your mama, papa, you gonna kill me because to open uh -huh. what you need to go through. Ça Okay, you know what I mean? Okay? Any question? No doubt. Then we're going to turn page 867. My name is osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is taught in MedSearch Multiskeleton. The food for osteoporosis is taught in MedSearch, I mean, in Fundamental Nutrition, right? How to walk with a osteoporosis is taught fundamental positioning, right? Let's go. So, osteoporosis is age-related metabolic disease. Bone demineralized nodules may pato you. They ask pato RN. Losing calcium. Where did I teach you calcium? Electrolyte. You see that? So, low calcium. What's wrong with this lady? Because of the fundamental electrolyte. Low calcium. What's wrong with this lady? Bone. Bone. The calcium left the bone. Where did it go? To the blood. This lady got two bone left. She got bone left. She got blood. This is how they're going to ask you the question. She got bone problem. She got kidney problem. Is she going to fall? Yes. yes, she's going to fall. Do you need to give her water? Yes. To do what? To remove from the what? The kidney. Now, the drugs. Where did I teach you the drug? Med surge multi skeletal. Give me the drugs. Five phosphonates, allodronate, respondinate, tutinate. Tell me about the nate. When do you give them? Yeah, the Early in the morning, morning with a full glass of water, you must be able to sleep. When can I not take the nate? If you cannot swallow or sit up or stand up. Any question? Now, where can they kill you? They're going to ask you, give me all that apply. Who's at risk for osteoporosis? Green box. Green box. Let's go. Ready? Cigarette smoking, early menopause, excessive use of alcohol, family history, female, increasing age, right? Insufficient intake of calcium, sedentary lifestyle, drink, no workout, white women, white, skinny, Asian. Who's at risk? A black woman, Asian, right? Spanish women, Asian, Asian. Now, here where they get you. Listen, watch. Osteoporosis, calcium is low in the bone. Bone. Listen, calcium is low in the bone. So because calcium is low in the bone, where did the calcium go? In the blood. So. Watch this. Her calcium is high in the blood. Fundamental electrolyte. So how is her phosphorus? No. Her calcium is high in the blood because her calcium is low in the bone. Stay with me. 
Now, if her calcium is high in the blood, that means her phosphorus is low. So she needs food high in what? Phosphorus. They're going to get you right there. Now, here is where they always get me. Think. Calcium live in the bone. Calcium left the bone and went to the blood. So that means in the blood, her calcium is what? High. Stay with me. Would you see this lady have positive Chavastia and positive Trousseau sign? Be careful. Uh, be careful. Listen to me. Calcium lived in the bone. Calcium left the bone and went to the blood. That's what osteoporosis is. So her calcium is high in the what? The blood. I want to know. Would she be positive for Juso and positive to No. No! no. Why? Because positive Juso, positive to is no calcium is low in the blood. Oh. I just got you. Miss Sakmenu, something so simple. Listen, anytime I say high and low calcium, Right? When it comes to electrolyte, we're talking about the blood. When we, when we talk about osteoporosis, we're talking about the bone. That's where it leads. So if I say a person who has osteoporosis, what is in the blood? Calcium. Positive chavasia, positive juice, is when no calcium is low in the blood. I just got you. That's the number one in the next <coughs> question, student you ain't told me. When I say electrolyte people, okay, I say Kawol, your potassium is high. Kiam Fekunesa says some. Blood. Kawol, your calcium is low. Kiam Fekunesa says some. But the same thing. See osteoporosis. Calcium na se nan zo a irrite. I so ti nan zo a kote la ni. So this lady got high what? Calcium. High calcium in the blood. So she had kidney problem. She don't have positive true so positive true. Because her calcium is high in the blood. This is where they get you. Because what you think, let me see osteoporosis, sir. Who thinks that low calcium is strong? Low calcium is not so. Yes, baby. They bury something. Hold on. Any? <laughs> hey, you know why? I had to say that on my mama papa, mama papa number three, multi-skeletal renal cancer. Oh, you see that you always get that question wrong. And I don't see why. When I say electrolyte, my father, this son, blood. Okay? So this woman, her calcium is high in the blood, darling. It's because of calcium shit. So you will see her with kidney problem. Yes, kidney stone. So they will be blow to kaiti ekisa. So the calcium don't charge cause what? Kidney stone. Stone. So I will say a patient has osteoporosis. Which food would you question? That's on my mama, papa. A lot of vitamin C. No. Why? Why? Calcium. Because remember, she already had a lot of calcium. The what? Blood. Blood. So vitamin C will make her to have a lot of kidney stones. 
That's my boy. That's the big mom. Anytime you take that mama, papa, I see you fail that question. The end. <laughs> you see, guy, you, do you see that? Be careful with osteoporosis. See, osteoporosis, guys, the reason it's a calcium problem, calcium shift. It left the bone and went to the blood. Now the lady got a problem with her kidneys. We, we already know she's going to fall because she got, because the calcium left. When I check her blood, guys, what am I going to see? High calcium. High calcium. Then how come you say positive true so positive true? I see that. That go for low what? In the blood. Any question? Yes. Be careful. Go ahead, because I know what you're going to ask. Let's go. Mm -hmm. that make the bone porous is the calcium. Let me tell you why. The reason, what she's saying is, kisak fez zoa yeti Porous, look like a sponge. It's because calcium, kai calcium, ope ushita la de kai. Ukite kai wale la. So zoa vin kase. English, this is calcium house. This is where you pay your rent, stay here. But as you get older, you move. Where do you go? To the blood. So the lady got two problems. Bone problem, kidney problem. Do you see that? Be careful. She asked what makes the bone weak. Porous me too. Oh, like Swiss cheese. It's because the calcium. Yes. Is that because when they get older and not exercise, that's why yes. the calcium left? Aches cause them to put genetics too. Okay. You got it? Okay. The reason because phosphorus is low is because when potassium is high, sodium is low, because some husband and wife go to it. You see, when your liver no good, your kidney is no good. When your kidney no good, your liver is There are certain things go together. Yes, darling. Go ahead. So, yeah, you had a question? So this is where the people ask you what exercise. Listen. Now, here it is. Exercise is very important. Remember, we're looking for strength. Strength. Energy. When you're looking for strength, energy, you want me to do aerobics. Swimming. Swimming. When you want me to lose weight, you're going to do cardio. When they say weight-bearing exercise, not lift weight, is to walk fast. That is called weight-bearing exercise. Fast walking. See, there's two. You can walk. Oh, I'm walking, girl. No, walking is weight-bearing is moving your Arm and walking with light weight. Light weight. Like Sally Fields. Sally Fields have a commercial in Bolivar, an actor there with the dog. La Pache, this how it is weight. A lot of the students think weight, they're in Bolivar. Big weight. Walk fast walking. Go to weight, they're exercise. No vitamin D. How about vitamin D? Vitamin D is excellent because vitamin D works with calcium. Let me tell you something. Calcium sit right here until you get a driver. Who's the driver? Vitamin D. Vitamin D. Vitamin D for bones. Calcium is for bones. 
But listen, if I have a lot of garbage in my blood, garbage in my blood, right? Vitamin C also is very uric, I see. So if I have all this garbage in my blood, you drink a lot of vitamin C, what happens to the kidney? You add to the garbage. So you don't want this person to take a lot of vitamin C because the problem is not kidney. Remember the lady got two problems, bone and kidney. That's why anytime you have osteoporosis, we must check B, U, N, and creatine. Yes. Vitamin C, not high vitamin C, not high vitamin C. Why? It will, remember, all the garbage is already in the blood, right? So you can give her calcium, you can give her calcium and vitamin B to help with what she's lacking, but more vitamin C will cause the kidney to work. Shut down. Huh? They cannot have a whole lot. She can eat an orange. To eat. She cannot Diet. make a uh, dose. Because it's too uric. Okay? Look at the intervention. Watch. Assist the client for injuries. Hazard environment. Position household items very close. Right? Use side rails. Use cane or walker. Use firm mattress. Why? A bone. Right? Provide personal care. Assist ambulation. Provide range of motion. Back brace. Provide instruction to promote level of health and function. I'm looking for the fluid. Instruct the client for good body mechanics. F. F. Instruct the client adequate food to prevent what? Yeah. See, that's why when the students say, the book say, I understand what the book say, but who run behind what the book say too? Remember, the patient got two problems. Kidney and what? And the doctor may order one-time dialysis. Okay. Any question? Okay. Turn. Yes. Oh, one more thing I have to say about osteoporosis that's big on the test. Muladoa. I want you to go to number seven. And I want you to highlight that. I focus. Students may, let me write them on the board, boom, and words, words. Word. Kyphosis, right? Kyphosis is osteoporosis. Lordosis, sexigramund, bulnado, or sometime when you're pregnant, lordosis. Scoliosis is who? Tenus. Do you know the students don't know this? And another name for this is Dor Geron. Or something the patient said. My son is three times taller than I am. What you do not do. Okay? So osteoporosis is kyphosis. Lordosis is old or pregnant. Scoliosis is teens. And it's called Dorger Hump. Any question? Yes, mommy, you got a question. Yes, darling. I don't know. For joint bearing, weight bearing. 
for the swimming. What is the, the swimming? The exercise. You gotta have to step with your exercise. What is oh, swimming oh is normally good for joints. Weight bearing is osteoporosis. So it depends if they ask her the question of that applies. It depends how they ask the question. Swimming is for more joints. Weight bearing is for osteoporosis. Let me ask you a question. The crime must meet the punishment. I'm 70 years old. I have osteoporosis. Would you teach me how to walk with a cane, a walker, or crutches? Would, they, would she get a crutch? Crutches? I'm 24 years old. Would you give me a cane, a walker, or crutches? Crutches. You better know that. The crime must be the punishment. Upakabe, a 24-year-old young boy, a damn walker. They feel old. A old lady, you will give her a walk. Crutches. Crutches. Okay, I'm 12 years old. I'm a patient. Would you give me the 70 year old nurse or you'll give me the 24 year old nurse? Why? I can't relate. Okay, so let's go. I'm 79 years old. I have osteoporosis. Would you give me crutches? No. Okay. You will give them a walker. I'm 79 years old. You would you give me a cane with only one prong or four prongs? Four. 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 Safety. Guys, in collects, you must look for things like that. The crime must meet the punishment. I go to Macy's, I steal a Michael Court for three hundred dollars. You are not supposed to give me 30 years in prison. The crime doesn't meet the punishment. You know how hard it is to walk with crutches? You give it to young people, not no old <laughs> ladies. Oh, they would, cry. they would never use it. Right, there's teaching. They get you guys on those questions too. Anytime. You're doing questions, oh bon Dieu. And the question has race in it. <laughs> race, age, gender. The author is telling you something. The black lady, the black 24 year old, sickle cell. The 79-year-old Asian, you need to know the three-month-old right there. I'm looking for something from you. Student get blind on those. So on my test, the feet, I put the something, the two-year-old have Hirschbaum disease. Oh, mon Dieu. You thought the question was about Hirschbaum? Do you know? The question was about the children. Anytime you see age, race, gender, I am, I want to know, do you know about those specific group of people? You go to Inclex, you do. You go to a conference call. Conference call what? They're looking for something from you. You got it? Mm -hmm. Try it. It's going to help you. Osteoarthritis. It is just like rheumatoid arthritis. However, osteoarthritis has to do with, ready? Race, age, and obesity. Who gets this? Black women. Big mama. <laughs> Where do you get it? Well, I'm gonna shift that. I'm not gonna be no sexy back knees. Put the body. I'm gonna shift that, and they can't get back up. You never see this in joint knuckles, got it? Never knuckle. 
Osteoarthritis has to do, you see here, spinal, back. Now, what would you see in the knuckles? Not even the knuckles. Unti bagai, and I'll say it in English, unti bulbul. They call it butchered nose, herbal din nose. Look, if you look on their knuckles, mm -hmm. you'll see a little thing. It's so tender, you can touch it. It's, you, you, it's like shaky. Mm -hmm. That's what you see. But osteoarthritis is not rheumatoid arthritis. They don't have feet problem and knuckle problem. They got back knees because this is chunk. Drunk, how you say it? Chunk, drunk. Chunk, Yes, a lot of this. They have that. Black people get it. Black big mama. Black people. Knees. Nursing intervention. You will have them lose weight because you can't change black. You make them lose weight. Exercise. Now, when do you medicate that? Very big. If I need to exercise, then you give me the medication. You get that? I need to go exercise first while you give me the medication. The more I exercise, the better I feel. You got it? Did y'all get that? So I'm not testing you. Okay? Number four, they go to Herbergen nodes, the butchered nodes. And listen, when they walk in the door, they click, 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 click. Gravitis. You will hear that. Okay? If they don't exercise, they really can be deformed. So you got exercise. Okay. Then we go to rheumatoid arthritis. Now, rheumatoid arthritis is a, is a joint problem. Synovial joint. Listen, you will never have me exercise first. You medicate me. See, move, the more I move, the more it hurt. So you're gonna medicate me and then make me move. Swimming is what I need to do. Swimming is good, okay? Now, rheumatoid arthritis, remember we give Humira in Braille, we change the medicament, right? Now, rheumatoid arthritis, early sign, fatigue, early sign, late sign, deformity, Timun. Kids get it. Y'all did beads with me. What's the early sign for children when they have it? Eye problem. Mommy, I cannot see. Mommy, the teacher bring the child in the front, the child still cannot see. Children, early sign is eye problem. Adult, early sign fatigue. Late sign, deformity. Now, in collect, sometimes don't put rheumatoid arthritis. In collect, put something called PANU. P A N N U. On this side. P A N N U. The P A N N U, you know it's rheumatoid arthritis. They have a fever. They have a fever. This has nothing to do with WBC. Another word, when you have rheumatoid arthritis, we have but we check your WBC by the infection by the year. Why? Because this has to do with connective tissue, lupus. You will see the patient have a fever. Okay? There's a test. How do I know you have this disease? I'm going to do a blood test. Yes, it's called R factor. R factor greater than 100 or greater than 80, you have it. But 
I will never do WBC on you. I will do a test called ESR. Elevation Sediment Rate. ESR. A, this is genetic. This is genetic. Haitian people say, oh, left way D, B, man. Yes. When it's cold, it aggravates. When it's cold, it aggravates. Okay? Make sure you know that. Early sign is what? Late sign is what? Deformity. Now, I have arthritis. It's where am I going to see the deformity? My hand? My knuckles? Is it my hand? No. no. This is my hand. This is my hand. You will see knuckles. That's an inflex question. Knuckles said what? Men said men. Men bagan, you know? Said knuckles were on vivre. Pied me from vivre. Be careful. Knuckles, hands. There's nothing wrong with her hand. Is the knuckles. Said wet like vivre. Look like a swan neck. A goose. Some people commit suicide. Because if you used to look a certain way, and now you, it look bad. They got to make special shoes. Any question, make sure we know that. Then we go into my love of my life. Amputation. Boot pie. Right? Cut the leg. Amputation, once you cut the boot pie, it is called a stump. A stump. Or the other English is called residual limb. Residual limb, I'm clear on say boot pie, Boot. Right? So look, this is the leg, arm. I cut it, we don't say a leg, we're gonna use it. I cut it, what's the English term? Stump. Or residual limb. Now, above the knee, above the knee, below the knee. Above the knee, above the knee, or below the knee. Why would I get my leg cut? Diabetes, PAB, no circulation, or unhealed ulcer. Because we cannot leave it. <clears throat> now, anytime you get amputated, I don't care if it's above, below, I don't care. Priority, 10 o'clock, CC got amputated. 10 o'clock, CC my patient, what is my nursing intervention? When CC come from the operating room and they, and they give her to me, she's going to have a PCA pump. <laughs> Number one. Number two, they're going to transfer her from her the bed to my bed, to a regular bed, right? As the nurse, there's something I must do for CC. Elevate the foot of the bed. I don't care whether CC have above or below. My plevé pie cabana. The first day, I'm going to elevate the foot of the bed. Why, Miss Sonia, to prevent CC from getting edema? Now, the next day, the next day, I'm going to put the bed down. After 24 hours, I'm going to put the pillow. Did y'all hear that? 
CC had surgery today, 10 o'clock. CC came on my floor. She did well. They took her from post op. She did not flow out. She had, I don't care if she had a bug below saying, yeah, I'm going to elevate the foot of the bed. Did I say I'm going to put a pillow? No. Then how, why would y'all go on Inclex? They, let me tell you how they get you. They say two hours post amputation, God damn, you say go we'll put pillow. The trick was two hours. Yeah. After 24 hours, you going to put the bed down and you going to put your pillow. And the reason they get you, because I get you on my mama, papa. And then you say, but the book say, Anytime <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm trying to tell you, but then you say, what the book say. There's an understanding. Yes, you put a pillow, but when? Uh -huh. See, because if you read the book, since book said, book said two things. Book said put pillow, and book say elevate and put up the bed. Right or wrong? Yes. Amen. Amen. Book lot see two things. Right? Then that's what the book said. Now, yes. Huh? Do not elevate. Say it again. Do not elevate the foot on the pillow when? The first one. The first day. The first day you don't put no pillow. Says our book say tomorrow. What pet be a Everybody away from pillow. And and the way I get you, and all sometimes they say sixteen hours. Sixteen hours. Let me show you a trick to help you. Anytime the intellect put a sign, anytime they put a time, don't put the pillow. Anytime they don't put a time, put your pillow to help you. After 48 hours, what you put, the pillow, that's clear understood. But if they say after, Amputation. After amputation, what do you do? Elevate the foot. You got it. You see, just to help you. You got it. Okay. You know, forty-eight hours is easy. It's understood, but they will not give you forty-eight hours so pretty. That power, 12 hours, 16 hours, they don't do it. 12 hours, we don't get it, it's 12 hours. It's the same day one. So day one is what? 12 hours. So what should be up? Let me, okay. Why do they put tourniquet up at the bedside? It's because, you remember, I just cut your leg. You can bleed to death. So if you start bleeding, I'm going to tie it to prevent you bleeding. You got it? Now, there's something else somebody didn't say. They said you're going to put me prone. Ah. When are you going to put me prone? You remember when you were to put up the bed? When you lift to put up the bed? What do position patient not wrong to prevent contractions? 
-mm. When you put the foot up the bed, you prevent an edema. When you put the patient prone, you prevent an It's when you, mm -hmm, when they come to you at 10 o'clock, you go the first, when you, the first, the first day, you're going to put the foot up the bed and then put them as long as they can tolerate it. Yeah, pro. Now, no, you position them pro. Let me tell you, you position them pro right when they come. You position them pro. While you position them pro, you also lift the foot of the bed. That's it. The next day, they won't do. You, they don't need no more pro because what happened? The bone now got sad. The bone already spread. See. When they go into contractors, it's really the first day where they're in so much pain and they're not moving. So if you already reposition them, they'll be fine because they will never let you put them in prone no more because they're in too much pain. So you put them on prone right where you got them. You just came in and guys, how long do you think they're going to stay in prone? Five minutes. They gonna say, shit, I can't tolerate this. Reposition me, oh my God. They are in a lot of pain. They in so much pain, they giving their own medication with the PCA pump. Yes, back. Somebody had a question. Yes. I just explained that. I spent 20 minutes explaining that. When you put them in prone, is because to prevent contractors, right? When are they most at risk to get contractors? When they first get there. So when they first get there at 10 o'clock, you're going to lift the bed and you're going to prone them. That's it. Tomorrow, put them back. Put the head down. Put the foot of the bed down. Put your pillow. Put them back. Super. I'm going to tell you that, and you go put whatever you want to put on the inkling. Hell, I got a license. I worked on the ortho floor, I'm telling you. Yes, it says that, but remember, when they are highest pain, it's the first day. While you position them, elevating the bed, you want to mess with them then, because tomorrow you cannot touch them. They become comfortable, they're in a lot of pain, they are um, showing that um, feeling the pain of that phantom pain. pain, you cannot touch them. Okay? Make sure you understand that. Okay? Now, NCLEX is going to ask you, what do you do with the boupier, the stump? You know when you put on a wig, right? Mm -hmm. What do you put under the wig? A cap. When the patient heals, and I mean of eight months, nine months healing, you got to prepare them for prosthesis. You got to wash the boupier, the stump. What do you wash it with? So and water. Before you put the stump in the prosthesis, you got to put a socks or a stocking or cap. You cannot just stick the stump in the prosthesis. You gotta wrap it. So Inclex is going to ask you how to wrap the stump. And that is a skill in your book, how to wrap the boupier. You gotta wrap it figure eight. Wrap. Wrap the stump. Wrap boutier. How to wrap the you gotta wrap it with ace bandage. Put the cap or socks. Stick it in the prosthesis. No. Put it in the prosthesis. A vacuum. A wound vac? They probably put a wound vac to help with the drainage. That means the person not healing quick enough. 
they'll do that. Not because of maybe the, the, the suture is open, right? And they'll do that, but they will never put a wound back on it. Remember, it's cut if the patient's not healing. Remove the fluid. Okay? Any question? The skill here, you must know how to wrap the stump. RN, like an eight. You know how you wrap? Figure eight, put a sock, stick it in the, the prosthesis. Now, after, after we, the patient is healed, the patient, be, it's after he's healed, but before the prosthesis, you're going to have to do assessment for above the knee, different versus below the knee. Did y'all get that? Again. When you come in to me, whether you above, below, the care for the stump is the same. Did y'all get that? When you come to me at 10, caring for you is the same. Now you heal. You want to get out of the bed. There's different ways I'm going to take care of you who have above the knee versus below the knee. Getting out of the bed. Ready? Let's go. It is on page 865. Below the knee. Okay. Now remember, when they bring you to me at 10 o'clock, whether you have above or below my tree to the sand. Did we get that? Yeah. Yeah. Now you heal. You heal. Before they bring the prosthesis, I got to get you out of bed. I'm going to get you out of bed depending on if you have above or below. Any question? Who did not understand that English? If you have above, how are we going to get you out of the bed? Do not allow the residual limb. Residual is a bout de The patient is a bout de pied. The patient is a bout de pied. Doesn't hang. English. When you have above the knee, I mean, excuse me, below the knee, you will not let the residual limb hang. Discourage the patient from sitting a long time. You know why? Because the patient going to do what? Flex the knee. Yes. That is for below. Above the, knee, above the knee, when the patient is sitting on the chair, you're going to get towels, God deal with. You're going to get towels and you're going to put one here, one here to support the limb. They kill y'all on these questions. Again, when I get this amputation, I'm going to care for you the same, above or below. But when it's time to get you out of bed and sit with you, there's a way you're going to deal below, and there's a way you're going to deal above. Any question? But once you go to the prosthesis, male fiea, male, the same way for both. English, you're going to tie it the same way for both. Any question? I've never said, mm, when somebody has below the knee, you don't put the foot up. I never said that. Above the knee, below the knee, whatever they have, you still elevate the one. Who did not understand? Yes. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you have a knee cut, I mean a leg cut, they also put like a, a big vest, a big support. They, that's what's going to help. So in other words, they call it 
and abduction bureau. And then you're going to have an abduction bureau. Like this, so you don't have contractors. And they're going to put a, trust me, they're going to have it ready, fixed. All you're going to do is keep an eye on that nation. Any question? Yes. Where, where are you? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. No, the PCA comes with it. When you bring a bitch to the floor and give to me, I said, I do not think you come to me, bitch, come on. Your job is to keep filling it. Oh, the PCA pump come with the patient. Oh, come with the patient. Who work in the hospital? The only way for you to know this, that means you got to work in the hospital. And you see, I know it's hard because you can imagine it. And I understand when you have not done clinicals at all, and you've only gone by the book. I, I, my problem is that. My problem is, is when I tell you something, you want to question me. I'm, you're supposed to question me, excuse me. But if I'm trying to tell you, statistics show all these damn people that have been passing, I've been telling them the same thing. You think I'm going to tell you the wrong thing? Okay, so it's, yes, it's hard when you don't work and you don't see it. And I'm trying to explain to you. Huh? Will have PCA pump? Has patient. Yes, they will put that because what's in that pump? Morphine. Morphine. The help of Daslo. But these ones, hey, and listen, the patient has the PCA pump. What do you want to check in that patient? At least I just got an invitation. I got a pump. And it said, what is your what you gonna check on this patient? Respiration. Respiration. And what else you gonna make sure I have a lot of fluids? Because they are constipated. They will be constipated. Any question? Yes. Go ahead, I'm listening. They cut is where they cut you. Above, if you see, look at your knees. You see where your knee at? Touch above it. Now look at your knee, touch below. That's it. Okay, go to, go to 865C and D. You see it? No. Do not allow residual limb to hang over the edge of the bed for what patient? Below. Below the knees. Once you come in, you have amputation, and I finish taking care of you. Now, six, seven months, it's time for you to get out of bed. Some people heal faster. Now I'm going to see if you had either above or what. Below. That's when you're going to please this. determine what the patient was. Okay. All right. I need to stop here. My nerves bad. All right. Listen. Manana. Yes. Tomorrow. We will look. So my little schedule changed a little bit. I'm going to finish multi-skeletal. I only got mind. fractures left. But fractures going to take me 40 minutes. And then...